अभी कुछ क्वेश्चंस देख लेते हैं प्रीवियस ईयर के विच आर रिलेटेड टू लिमिट पॉइंट्स सो वन ऑफ दो फंक्शन इज फ्रॉम जून 2011 एंड इट इज ऑफ पार्ट बी मीन ओनली वन ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट सो इज गिविंग मी सेट वन अपॉन एन साइन वन अपॉन एन एंड इज आस्किंग फॉर दर्ड एज लिमिट पॉइंट है ना इट इज डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द लिमिट पॉइंट सो वट कैन विद द लिमिट पॉइंट वन अपॉन एन साइन वन अपॉन एन नाउ देर इज अ रूल विच वी विल यूज हेयर वी नो दैट इफ एफ एक्स इज बाउंडेड सिक्वेंस फर्स्ट थिंग एंड लिमिट ऑफ एन टेंस टू इंफिनिटी जी एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो देन दिस एम्प्लाइज दैट लिमिट ऑफ एन टेंस टू इंफिनिटी एफ एक्स एंड जी एक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो प्लीज नोट इट डाउन Now using this, you can see this tends to zero as n tends to infinity, and this is bounded because the value of sine is always between minus one and one. So what when we will take the limit of this whole thing, it tends to zero, and right? it will not re, uh, always reach zero, and right? as n tends to infinity, but it will tends to zero. So zero will become its limit point. there will be no other limit point of this sequence so which option seems this only one limit point and it is zero it seems correct uh, in because it is part b there is no no need to go further and check the other options but because we are learning so we can check other options also not to learn something new so uh, one limit point and it is one no it is incorrect one limit point and it is minus one no it is incorrect three limit point are bilkul galat baat ho gayi this is also incorrect so option one is correct है ना नाउ अनदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जून 2013 पार्ट बी द नंबर ऑफ लिमिट पॉइंट्स ऑफ दिस सीक्वेंस 1 अपॉन m 1 अपॉन n है ना सो लेट्स लेट्स ट्राई टू ड्रॉ दिस है ना इफ आई पुट m इक्वल्स टू 1 n इक्वल्स टू 1 आई एम ड्राइंग इट हियर इट विल गिव मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस 2 कॉमा 2 पॉइंट ना लेट्स से दिस इज 2 देन आई एम दिस इज आई एम टेकिंग m हियर आई एम टेकिंग n वैल्यूज है ना so if then i put m equals to no ha huh, sorry it will give me first of all i am taking m and n as 1 comma 1 so it will give me 1 comma 1 another addition of 1 plus 1 then i'll put uh, m n m equals to 1 and n equals to 1 by 2 so it will give me 1 plus 1 by 2 something here then i'll 1 plus 1 by 3 so it will be 1 plus 1 by 3 and it will keep going here tick 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 so now you can see every neighborhood of this point contains infinitely many elements so this will be a uh limit point of this so one this will be a limit point of this now i'll take m equals to 1 by 2 and comma 1 plus 1 let me write it as 1 by 2 plus 1 the value of m is 2 and the value of n is 1 again i'll put the same things 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and so on you will see that it will also have infinitely many points in the neighborhood of this point so this is also 1 by 2 this is also a limit point of this and in the same way you can see again you will so 1 by 3 1 by 3 is also a limit point of this 1 by 4 is also a limit point of this so how many limits and then zero will also be a limit point of this and the graph will be something like this and that there will be so many elements so what it is saying the limit number of limit point is one no the number of limit point is two no the number of finite many points no there are infinitely many limit points this is not correct the correct option is fourth infinitely many limit points are there okay next one it is a question from june 2014 part c means more than one options can be correct hai na so the sequence or the set is being like m plus 1 upon 2 p Uh, 2 to the power p, comma n plus 1 upon 2 to the power 2, where m, n, p, n, z all are integers. So first option says S is discrete. Discrete means a set is discrete when all points are isolated points. And all points are isolated points. Then it will be called discrete. Means there is that is. no limit point should be belongs to set no limit point should belongs to set 
ठीक है सो वी विल व्हाट विल बी द लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस जस्ट थिंक ऑफ दिस अगेन अगेन अ सॉर्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन लाइक प्रीवियस वन व्हाट यू कैन टेक यू कैन टेक आई एम टेकिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज एज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स से जीरो सो जीरो प्लस वन अपॉन टू टू द पावर जीरो मीन्स वन कोमा जीरो प्लस वन अपॉन टू टू द पावर जीरो so this will be uh, 1 comma 1 hmm now what other possibilities are i take m as 0 and n as 0 but p and q have some value this is also a point of this then i am taking m and n as 0 and p and q equals to 2 so it will be 1 upon 4 0 plus 1 upon 4 and you can see it will be 1 upon 0 0 plus 1 upon 8 comma 0 plus 1 upon it and so on in this manner uh, it will work and uh, now now what you can see that i can 1 comma 1 belongs to s na and just think of this i am taking it as 1 m equals to 1 plus 1 upon 2 comma 1 plus 1 upon 2 all the uh, m and n equals to 1 then m and n again 1 the value of p and q i just make it 2 1 upon 4 1 plus 1 upon 4 Then one plus one upon eight, m and n are one, and the value of p and q is three. One upon eight. Just to visualize what will happen at the end, it will be near one comma one, है ना? There will be so many elements when the value of p and q will I will take at uh, let's say infinity, so very large values. So the term will be equal to one comma one. Means the in the neighborhood of one comma one there will be infinite elements. So one comma one is the Limit point. Now it is a limit point of the set, and it also belongs to the set. But what is the definition of discrete set? No limit point should belong to the set. But this is belongs. So this is not a limit point. Incorrect. The set of limit point of S is in the set M comma N. Means all the limits point of the set are of form M comma N. Means there should be integers. But we can also try this. Let's take m equals to one by two, three by two, any number, and n equals to one by two. Let's say, again change the values of p and q. You can see, plus one by two. Then the value of I'm keeping the value of m and n as same. I'm just changing the value of p and q plus one by four. And so on. You will see again. See, it will be reaching three comma two by one comma two. Hey na. when you increase the value of p and q very big values will be there so it will be one upon infinite and it will give tends to zero the second part this will for higher values of p and q this will tend to zero you know and you can say that this is not this is uh, how can i take m and n as 1 by 2 but for many other values you can say uh, i am taking it as 1 i am taking it as 1 and then it as Also one, but the sum will be three one comma uh, one by two. Okay, let me take another example here. See this. I am taking m and n as again integer because m and n are integer. So I am taking one plus one upon uh, p to the value. I am taking one, so it will be one upon two. n is something let's say 1 plus 1 upon 2 okay now what i am doing i am keeping the value of p and m and q as same so it will be keep 1 by 3 by 2 always because p and n are same here it will change i am changing the value of q i am increasing the value of q with time 1 by 4 then it will be 3 comma 2 One upon one by eight, then it will be three upon two comma one upon one by sixteen, and so on. So when the q is greater, it will tends to zero. So what will be the limit point? Three comma two will remain same, but the second point will tends to one, है ना? So three comma one will be the limit point. But the second option saying that the limit point are of form m comma n means first element is integer. And the second element is also integer. All the limit points are of this form. But as you can see, three comma two comma one is not belongs to this set, है ना? So this is limit point, but this does not belong to set. So the option two is also incorrect. 
Now option three and four are connected, path connected. Uh, we will discuss this concept later. So we will also see the question again when it will be discussed. But these two options, uh, you can cancel them uh, only if you know about the limit points. Right? So we discussed it here for the point set topology. Now there was a question in December 2015 and part C again. Now you can see it is similar question. In the previous question it was 2 here and they just changed it by 4. You can just see the same question 4.75 marks. It was just repeated. So again it is not a discrete. It is no, uh, It is all the limit points are not of this point. So 1 and 2 options are incorrect and the remaining options we will check in the later videos. Okay. So it is a very quite uh, similar question. Uh, now that there was a question in June 2016 part B. It is saying you have an interval minus 1 to 1 and the sequence is alpha n and equals to 1 to infinity. Now every limit point of alpha n should belongs to minus 1 to 1. Now we will try to find some counter examples to check it. Na? Again it is talking about limit points. So uh, limit point belongs to minus 1 to 1 open interval, limit point belongs to minus 1 to 1 closed interval or the limit points can only be minus 1, 0 and 1 and limit point can't be minus 1, 0 and 1. So first of all let's say alpha n is equals to 1 upon n. Right? So if you just uh, increase the value and tends to infinity, it tends to 0. So 0 can be a limit point but the fourth point saying the limit point cannot be minus 1, 0 and 1. So the fourth point is incorrect. All other options can be correct. Now I am taking alpha n equals to 3 by 2 plus 1 upon n. Now it tends to, as n tends to infinity, it tends to 3 by 2. So the option uh, 3 says minus 1, 0 and 1 can only be its limit point. But 3 by 2 is a limit point. So option 3 is also incorrect. Now I am taking alpha n equals to 1 plus 1 by n. As n tends to infinity, it tends to 1. So 1 can again become the limit point of this. So option one also cancels because it is saying that minus one and one in open interval well, means minus one and one are not included. So the limit point is equals to one. So option B will be correct here. So these was the questions for uh, limit points. Uh, if you were facing difficulty in solving the questions, please see the reanalysis playlist and join us on telegram. You can, you can also like, comment and subscribe if you like the things. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture. Bye. Bye.